Okay, let's begin. Keep this short. Just a great tournament, uh, tough match. Just your thoughts on, on tonight. Yeah, it was a tough match. Um, conditions were definitely a little bit different, I think, playing at night. Um, so we had some adjusting to do. I feel like the first set was a little ugly, but um, happy with the way I fought back in the second. Uh, but, you know, it's still a tough loss. Thank you very much. Name and affiliation, please. Questions? Reem? Hi, Jessica Rima, Sport.com. Tough luck today. I'm just wondering, can you describe a little bit how frustrating it must have been that second set with you guys breaking each other? Yeah, um, I mean, both of us, like, couldn't hold. It was pretty uh, crazy there for a while, but I don't know if we were just returning well and not serving great or what, but... Um, yeah, it was frustrating, especially 6-5 serving 40-love. Um, she hits one ball like right off the line, then wins two points, and that can be really frustrating. So definitely wish I would have just served like 5% better. I felt like at least maybe I could have won the second set. Um, so, yeah, that's frustrating. Court. Hey, Jess. Uh, Courtney Nguyen, WTA. Um, just in terms of serving 5% better, do you mean like um, speed-wise placement percentage? What do you think would have made the difference? Like all three. <laughs> All three, ideally. Um, I don't know, just like a free point or, um, you know, one, two kind of, you know, set up the second ball would have been nice. Um, I just felt like I, to beat her, she always, I think, returns well and moves so well. And I think to play her, I think you have to, like, be serving smart and hitting your spot. So, um, yeah, I just felt like I needed to step it up there, maybe a little bit on my serve uh, to win that second set. And I didn't, so. Um, but yeah, all three of those would have been, one of the three at least would have been nice. Hi, Jessica, sorry about the loss. It's obviously, oh, Darcy made from ESPN.com. Um, I like the Heineken. Uh, I'm trying to pee for doping, so. <laughs> Although it does help ease the loss. <laughs> um, obviously not the result you wanted tonight, but it's been an incredible year for you at majors, three quarter finals. Does that make this sting a little less? And are, are you able to take some positives from the season or is it too early to see that just yet? I mean, honestly, I, I don't know. I go back and forth. I'm like, oh, I should be positive. But at the same time, I'm like, fuck three quarter finals. Sorry, but it just sucks. Like it sucks. And I, it's, I wish I could have done it here at my home slam, but I guess not. Um, I wish I didn't have to play Iga <laughs> every quarterfinal or Ash Barty, which just seem to be the two people that don't really lose that often. So it just sucks. Like, I don't know. I'm, I mean, I had a great year at the slams. I know there's still some, some tournaments left, but, um, I don't know. I feel I'm a little deflated right now. I don't, I'm not really happy. Like it just, I don't know. It just sucks to lose. So I just wish, um, it would have been different tonight, but I'm sure tomorrow I'll wake up and, and see more of the positives for sure. Brian. Brian Lewis, New York Post. There was um, a stretch even in the first set uh, early on where, I mean, you seem to be in a good spot. And then yeah. I think, I don't know, she wins whatever, 18 out of 22, or whatever it is down the stretch of that set. And a number of those seem to be unforced errors on your part. Was that more you, or was that something that she did that she changed the momentum? Well, she switched rackets at, like, love 30. And I missed that swing volley, which who knows if I would have won that game, but maybe it would have been a different set. Um, she switched rackets and I think it did help her a little bit. Her ball wasn't flying as much. And I don't know if I just wasn't, I was used to her making errors and she maybe hit a couple balls. And I think I was just thrown off with the rhythm. And then I just started missing everything for literally the rest of the set. Um, so yeah, that wasn't, I broke her and then just like totally lost like every single, I felt like I was missing every single ball. So yeah, that was a definitely a huge momentum changer. I think it helped her a lot. Um, so it was a good move by her. She knew the ball was flying on her a little bit and needed to change rackets. Um, yeah, and I don't know if that just – her ball was landing, like, a little shorter, and I just feel like I wasn't maybe moving up to it, and I just made a few stupid errors. Um, and she started playing a little bit better, and I think I was just going for too much. And, you know, the games kind of flew by, went really quickly, and the next thing I knew I lost a set 6-3, so. Ed McGrogan, Tennis Magazine. Um do you think you just had to redline it a lot against her, just how consistent she is? And just like, do you think you had to go for too much at all? Were you pretty comfortable with how the rallies were going? Because there were some amazing rallies, I just, you know, from both of you, really. Yeah, I mean, it's hard with her because it's like she moves so well. So you like know you have to move in and try and dictate the point as well. But then, you know, you don't want to make those easy, um, those unforced errors that she kind of forces you to make with her movement. So. 
I mean, that's the balance, right? It's like finding when to go for your shots and then also when to, to pull back because I felt like I was winning a lot of the long rallies too. So I don't know. It's, it's a balance. Um, I don't know when I figure it out. Hopefully I'll win <laughs> next time. It was great. It was awesome. Yeah, it was super awesome, especially when I kept breaking to, to come back in the set. Um, I could really feel their energy and I really wanted to get to a third for them, but just, I guess, wasn't in the cards. But it was really fun to play at night and it was fun to see all the celebrities and all the people that kept showing in between the changeovers it was pretty cool. Sarah Taylor, New York Beacon. Uh, did you have any nerves or did you feel pressure in the first set at all? No, I actually felt pretty good. I don't, I don't know. Ash is like... I didn't really honestly feel too nervous on Ash at any point throughout the tournament. I don't know why that is. I guess it's a good thing. Um, it's a nice court. I liked it. It was fun. Um, I enjoyed my my time tonight. I don't know. I didn't really feel nerves or anything. It felt like home, which I guess is good. Court. Uh, Jess, just in terms of since you have played Iga a number of times this year, um, how was it any different? Did you see anything different from her in tonight's match compared to specifically maybe Miami or, I mean, I guess Roland Garros, but that's clay. Yeah, I mean, they're all like totally different matches, I guess. So it's hard to compare. Obviously in Miami, I think she was like on that tear where she was winning a lot of matches. So I think it was a little bit different. Um, tonight, yeah, I mean, I felt like I was... I felt like I was returning better. I felt like she was making more errors tonight. Um, I know she probably doesn't love the conditions and the balls, so I'm sure she's not feeling great either, getting broken as well in the second set. But, um, yeah, just a little difference with those things. But, I mean, to be expected, I don't expect her to play, like, lights out every single time. But, um, yeah, and then and Clay, it's totally different, I feel like. So it's hard to compare that. All right, let's take a couple more. Just, I'm just wondering, in the morning, a lot of the coverage was about you and Francis being like the last two home hopes and everything was, everyone was rallying behind you. What, what did it mean for you to kind of be in that position? And just a few words on Francis and what he was able to do. Yeah, he's the last American standing, I guess. Um, no, I was so proud of him. Um, I know he had some tough matches this summer and it's actually kind of funny. I was like asking him about a couple of his matches and I'm just like, I don't know, I'm pretty like, candid or I don't know what the word is and I just be like yeah like you had like those you were up like 4-0 against Fritz in the third like what happened and then I was like he's like oh my god like why are you asking it like that and then I didn't realize he like played that night in like Cincy or something and I was like oh shoot I probably shouldn't have said it like that but I I don't know like I always kind of got on him because I'm like can you just like win a match like normal and not like it be this whole theatrical <laughs> event um so I always kind of give him crap um but it's been amazing to see how he has played so much more focus, even though he had a couple tough, a uh, couple tough matches in Montreal and Cincinnati and all this stuff. I was like, "You're playing so much better. Like, you know, it's coming. He's <laughs> just coming for that one match, and it came here at the U.S. Open. So it's really, really nice to see. And he's so much fun to watch. So charismatic. So nothing, nothing but good things to say about him. And I'm really proud of him for really focusing these last couple weeks because he can be all over the place. So. Uh, the way he's taking care of business has been really, really impressive. So, um, yeah, I know he's super hyped up and ecstatic, but such a good story on him. And I was wish I could wish I could join him or Coco could join him or something like that. But um, yeah, it's been it's been fun to to have that feeling of everyone behind us as Americans. Um, you know, coming in the second week of the U.S. Open, it's been really special. So glad I get to share that with them. Definitely. Last question. Tomek Moczerik, Polska Agencja Prasowa. Uh, Jess, please don't say that you don't want to play Iga Świątek uh, because it was a fun match. Uh, yeah. Even she said that after uh, uh, after the game. Uh, I had to write a massive piece on you uh, for Polish uh, Polish press agency uh, a couple of days ago, <laughs> and I found out that found out that uh, you got married in Asheville. Yes, and I did. today was an Asheville night. I know. <laughs> so so was it a, a strange coincidence? And did you think that it was a good omen uh, waking up today that uh, this could be your day? I didn't realize it was Asheville day until it, they said it on court. I was like, oh. That's that's funny. I got married there and it's such like a small town in North Carolina, kind of random. Um, I know we played Fed Cup there, so I don't know if there's some relationship with that. But no, I thought that was really cool. Um, I was hoping it was a good omen. I guess not. But it's still kind of fun. Um, yeah, that it was Asheville Day and we got to play. So, that, yeah, it was cool. But it, it was a fun match playing with Iga. I mean, I always like to play against the best in the world and challenge myself. So um, that part I'll always be happy about. But wish it was a better omen than I guess <laughs> than it ended up being.